Today we build Raptoria yet again, and this time it's in a cyberpunk future. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Skid Cities, a game available now in early access on Steam. We're going to build ourselves a cyberpunk city in the style of like SimCity 3000 slash SimCity 4, but with a big old twist. It's a little bit like uh, cyberpunk where we've got to worry about recycling water and uh, kind of getting a city going in what seems to be like a post-apocalyptic era, but more of a, fu a dystopian future. So, if you guys want to see more of this game, make sure you click tab below and destroy the like button as we rocket towards 1 million subscribers. It's been more important than ever to make sure you show that support. Say hi down below in the comment section. It makes a difference for that algorithm. And also, thanks as always for smashing that subscribe button. If you're new here, 60% of people who watch the videos don't subscribe. So, for those of you who do, thanks for joining and welcome aboard. A pleasure to have you with us as we start a new city. And that city is going to be a tutorial city as there's a lot to learn in this game. There's a career mode too that kind of goes into explaining a story about all the different nations, regions, and uh, partnerships in the future of, I believe, 2090 something. And it seems like the world changed somewhere around 2045. And so, this is kind of the uh, result of almost 50 years of future. Uh, from uh, sometime in the future. A future of the future, basically. There's also sandbox mode, which is a requirement of any city builder, but let's jump into the tutorial and kind of get some uh, basic hands-on learning of what the game has to offer. As you can see, Earth looks a lot different. New Zealand almost gone. Japan, a little bit of it uh, being seen here. UK looking completely gone. Europe and Africa and North America all seemingly changed as the coastlines are starting to sink and or be swallowed up. You can see all the history of each one of these uh, different trade authorities. There are uh, different levels of difficulty, too. And uh, I think we'll start with the island of California. That sounds interesting. A state that used to be connected to the United States and apparently now has moved down to uh, parts of Mexico. So we'll go ahead and uh, try that. But there's tons of different places to build in Panama, uh, the Middle East. Each one of these uh, sectors is playable. And I think the only real major difference is the uh, maybe like the partners that you'll trade with with your cities and maybe how the background looks. Obviously, Canada going to be a little uh, colder than maybe like, for example, Alaska or uh, Australia over here or whatnot. Uh, the climates could change. So maybe like uh, maybe this is where the new equator is. Maybe Canada's real dry and barren now. And maybe Alaska is wet and like the, uh, I don't know, like a marshy swamp. Who knows? It all could be different. And that has to remain to be seen as we try for the first time in skid cities let's go we're building ourselves like a skid row type city so it'll start out as a dystopia i suppose until we make uh, areas for the filthy 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 rich to live wow look at those high rises whoa that looks cool though wow that jumped up my name is lurkin three and i will guide you through the building uh, building your first city. Since I'm an android, I can't really tell you what to do. You can click next, next when you're ready to start. Well, you're telling me what to do, though. Okay. First things first, let's move around. You can do that by using the arrow keys or WASD. Great, now let's try the zoom. You can do it with the lens in the bottom left or, of course, zoom in or out this way. Good. Let's start building. Do you see the first building on the building panel? Oh, they want us to open infrastructure. Yeah, hold on, let's... Whoa, okay, that, that game's got a little little work to be done on the audio. All right, where are we? Uh, infrastructure, got it. Okay, select roads. Okay, you can read what's going on up here while I read the instructions. That way we can speed along a little bit more. They want us to build 10. We'll build a few more than that, I suppose. There we go. Open the zoning menu. That's it right there. Residential, factories, and commercial zoning. They want residential. Okay, let's do that. Uh, select poor residential. Yep. Okay, we got that. And we'll zone 40 zones. I think we'll just do like a zone like this. Okay. Select factories and offices. And select factories. All right, let's build our factory a little bit outside of town. A little further away from these people. Just a little bit. Okay. And we'll build a factory zone starting up here. Wait. That's actually constructing a zone. We want roads. Wow, they <laughs> they built their little house all the way at the end of this road. There we go. All right, so we actually have to click it. Otherwise, it'll stay selected on the previous one. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. And let's add some factories. Looks like we also have access to transportation. So we have heliports, airports, rocket ports. Oh, yeah, let's take a look around while we're here. Uh, looks like we have androids, nature parks, uh, public documentation. Commodities. What else? Ooh, a world wonder. A global institution. Security. Unrest. Rogue androids. Dissidents. Crime. Looks like there's different levels of crime, too. Ooh, vertical. Oh. 
Oh, we can also have uh, roads that go up above, so we can actually have verticality in this build. Oh, that's that's a dream come true. That's awesome. That means that we can like build a city here and then build on top of it and have multiple layers, so we can I like kind of like uh, Midgar and, and Shinra in Final Fantasy VII. We can just build on top, and some modern cities have that going on too, where a lot of infrastructure is above the main city. Cool. Good. Good. Well, let's get those factories going. They want me to do 20 factories. Okay. That should be enough. All right, tech is great, isn't it? Factories, houses, often uh, offices will need to be running. Oh, they need running water to survive. Luckily, you can recycle black water and use other ways to provide it back as water to your citizens. I'd not call it clean, but it's usable. Okay, let's give that a shot. What would that be under? Uh, oh, select commodities. Oh, right there. Uh, wasteland, water recycler, or sewers. Uh, distributes water and collects dark water from the upper level. You can. Need oh, I see. So these are going to be pipes, uh, pipes built above the city to bring water back for recycling. Okay. So let's build that maybe in a centralized area. We need pipes above the city to bring it back for recycling. Okay. Uh, let's build that there. And then we need to build sewers. Oh, so it has to touch all these uh, buildings here. Oh, we can build it on the roads? Ooh, this will be interesting. It looks like we can, or it did look like we could. Oh, that must be to go outside to a different neighboring city. Okay. Well, it's connected here, so he wants us to build 10 sewers. I think we'll leave that for a road. I hope the pipe can go over the top of roads. Well, let's make it so at least this factory can start working. There we go. And I suppose we can build over this way. Oh, really? There's no way to build a road? Okay. Well, good. You've switched to water mode. The data will load, and then you'll see the, how uh, where the water is. Cool, huh? There are other types of AR visualizations if you want, but you can explore them later. Ready for the next cool thing? I certainly am. Uh, you see, you build some sewers right next to the buildings, that is possible, but it gets clunky fast. Uh, what you can do is drill beneath your city, build an underground city, and then provide water from there. Oh, what? We can build an underground city too? Uh, to do that, we need to have vertical roads. Oh boy, this is awesome. Alright, exactly what I wanted to see. Oh, this is exciting. I'm very excited. Alright, let's build a downwards road. Uh, build a downwards road, okay. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, it's going downhill from here, folks, right away. Can we build it, like, right here? Oh, yeah, build, build a down road, downwards road here. Uh, move underground. Okay, how? Uh, next to the lens. Uh, let's see. There's the lenses. Ah, cool. Oh, so this is like an elevator that brings cars all the way down? Okay. So now we have to build a water recycler to deal with water underground. Oh, that is amazing. So is that under commodities as well? Yep. Wow, so we can build above and below ground. That's amazing. Select the sewer. Oh, and, and this... Okay, so we can build all the city services underground. We don't have to do it above ground. That's amazing. That's so cool. So not only are we just placing pipes underground, but we can also build all the structures underneath so we can provide water to the citizens separate from that of the factories. That's cool. That's really neat. Well, let's connect that all back together. That's awesome. Uh, okay, for the basics to evolve your city, factories and houses require more than water to thrive. Android distribution centers and public augmentation clinics, for example. Uh, mission tutorial, move and build complete. Thank you! Alright, let's go up top. So wait, how many sub-levels can we have? Looks like just one for now. Maybe if, if, as we build more and more ramps, we can have multiple levels, it seems. And how are things going? We're making money, population's moving in, four, 14, I assume that's maybe factories there? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, what else can I do? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's 2092. 4, 5, 15, 2092 is the year. How about we build some parks and stuff? I don't know. Let's try to, like, goof around with it a little bit. Uh, 20th century trees. Okay. Uh, let's try to build some trees. Oh, wait. Is this, like, a road of trees? Oh, that's... Oh. It's still uh, selected on the pipes. I'm sorry. I got excited. Oh, weird. Okay, let's take a look, close look at how everything looks. So there's the pipe there. It literally looks like it's just on top of some rocks. And then, like, shanty towns. No uh, no real cars zipping around yet, but it de definitely does look like in the style of Parkitect slash SimCity 2000 slash SimCity 3000 slash SimCity 4, which are all great city builder games. Love this. Very cool. Okay, let's get rid of the pipes. Maybe we'll build another road then. Um, Let's do that now. Okay, so we have factories going. 
Uh, let's see. Transportation. We'll build some roads. What are the other roads? Roadblock or no car street. Okay, so we can have foot traffic too. That's cool. So that means that like on the second level, we could build a road that goes above the city uh, for pedestrian traffic or maybe bicycles and stuff if those haven't been banned. Okay, what do we need to do next? Can you tell me more, Tutorial Man? Uh, rich residential. Let's go with that one. Activate that. Uh, attracting wealthier citizens can be a very important part of your city. I mean, you could also avoid them, but why? They bring wealth, corporations, and influence. That said, it's not easy to attract them. You'll need a solid basis of four poorer citizens and factories to build off from. Uh, let's build these first if you haven't done that already. Reach a population of 100. Oh, we did. Okay, we're good. Uh, build 15 factories. I think that's already good to go. Yep. Uh, build 20 roads outside. I think that's already done too. He's going real fast because we've already done some of these prerequisites. Um, 20 roads outside. Do I just... Maybe I need to build more roads? Let's see if this counts. Oh, okay. So we just got to build some more roads. Let's build like a nice little square here. There we go. Uh, select zoning. Uh, let's see. Zoning. Corporate offices. Wait. Select corporate offices. Oh. Factories, corporate zoning. Okay. There we go. Zone. Ah, next to the uh, little tree there. Oh, it gets rid of your uh, park. That's Oh, I thought it would like skip that area. Uh, reach five corporate offices. Okay. I'm assuming these also need water too. So let's go back underground. And provide them some basic services. Weird how we don't need power yet. I don't, I don't know how that's working. Let's just connect these this way. I don't think it can go through the, the road elevator, but we'll build around it. All right, back up to the top. Any corporate offices? Looks like they need water. Should be provided, though. Hmm. Maybe we could provide more water on the top, too. We'll build it around here. Some of these guys need roads. Oh, never mind. Oh, what the hell? Oh, they're building buildings right now. Nice. Okay, let's build a road to go inside here. Well, every time I try to do something, they just do it automatically. Okay. Uh, reach 10, rich residential. Okay. Well, for our first time, this is going really well. Got a lot of stuff booming already. We'll build the uh, rich people's homes on the other side of the pipe. Let's do that. Almost like a wall to separate the city. It's kind of cool, though, that you're forced to build certain, um, you know, services above ground. It's like people stop caring. They're just trying to, like, survive, basically. Okay, let's go this way. So we need ten rich homes. I really wish we could build over or under that pipe. I don't know why we can't, but whatever. Residential rich. Okay. Let's build a zone this way. We'll build a big zone and see how it develops. All right, now we just need to put down five homes. Then I want to put some parks down, too. Maybe that'll attract some folks to live here. Let's try 20th Century Park again. Weird, some of these say they're not connected to roads, but they are. Let's work on the piping. Under services, commodities, sewers. Uh, perfect. As you see, these initial set of settlements are fairly simple and suburban. They'll eventually evolve in mind-blowing skyscrapers if given enough attention. Okay. We need to supply them with more stuff, it seems. Complete. Uh, advanced tutorial, rich residential completed. Good. All right, let's go back up top and see what they look like. Is there a way to get rid of the water view? Okay, oh yeah, some of them are actually turning into skyscrapers. That's neat. Let's do another tutorial. Uh, develop your city. Okay. Uh, all right, let's develop the city. Every zone, residential, factories, offices has a development level from 1 to 4. Every additional level adds population, taxation, and other effects around the building. Uh, normal buildings can reach level 1, but zones can go up to 4. To check the level of a building, right-click on it. So how do you make them bigger? Let's start with the poor residential zone. Uh, 10 residential roads and water access will start from there. Okay, so we got to add more. More. 
But these are called Deep Slubs, Hamid Sub, Soccer. Oh, they're all inter... Oh, they all do different things. Maybe. Or like... Oh, interesting. Like some of them are called Iron. Weird. Okay, let's go ahead and put these down. So zoning. We want more poor. Okay. Uh, service panel. Public augmentation. Uh, arm, arm aug by Theta. So this is like a public clinic where people can go to modify themselves? Okay. I guess we have to build three of these, so... So these are like offices where these people can go to augment themselves? Okay. Okay. In order for the slums to develop, maybe they already are, they'll need to be in the range of the public aug. You also need something else. Every piece of the city is connected to the arm buildings via roads and streets will drain them. In order to develop your buildings, you'll need to have spare public augmentation. You'll you will need to produce more than what's needed. All right. Uh, graph button. That one. Open graph. Uh, public aug graph. That's this one. Awesome. The graph will show you the amount of public augmentation that your city needs and how much you're producing. Okay, so we need uh, it to reach level three. Build even more buildings to see it grow. Ah, okay. All right, so now we have room for more. Let's add more. More. We need more. More emote down below. Let's see if the members can do it. Okay, let's build like two here. Do I? Are there roads on the street? Uh, roads on the street. Cars on the road is what I meant to say. Are there? <laughs> yes, I hope there's roads on the street. Country roads that'll take me home. Uh, let's see. I wonder if we can build it. Ah, I guess it has to only be in the poor section. Let's build some more here, though, because I can obviously add more soon. More more buildings, more residential. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, nice. Residential level 2. We need a building to reach level 2. Let's add more poor residential. Looks like we need water down here, too. And let's get rid of that road. Bulldozer. Services, water, commodity, water recycler. I forgot the sewers can't supply water across the road, so we'll just have to cut that out. I like having some on top and bottom, even even if it's inefficient. Look, it just looks cool. I don't know. I, I honestly, I think. Uh, do you guys think it's important in a game to just be one hundred percent efficient, or do you also need to put in like? Uh, does it also need to look good? Does does aesthetics matter for you in your city building, or does it just need to be a cookie cutter spreadsheet at highest efficiency? I feel for me, it's uh, more aesthetics because you know once it's profitable, then I just want to do what I want to try different things. Okay, are we moving fast enough to get to level two? Let's speed up time a little bit. We need some of these homes to be populated. Maybe we could build some more factories. Get some more jobs going. Let's build a factory zone here. There we go. Hopefully they'll have water. If not, we can cut through here. Alright, residential level 2. How do we see residential level? Oh yeah! Augmentation is skyrocketing, baby. Woo! Uh, let's see. Androids. Okay, we'll have to work on that later. Whoop! All right, your slums should become bigger places soon. If they're not right, click on them to check out what's happening. You also need more water or public aug. Okay. So which ones? Why can't these advance, for example? Uh, level 1 can advance. Why? Water, negative 2. Public augmentation, negative 2. Uh, let's do an underground piping system. Make sure everything's completely covered. Commodities, sewers. I guess we'll just build another underground water facility here. Did I delete the one facility that we had? I thought we built onto that. Oh, I could have deleted it when I did it underwater, uh, underground before. As we build our underground facilities, we'll add a couple of those. Perfect. Don't want to run out of water, so let's go ahead and build a few of those. Nice. Yeah, let's see if that helps out. Get water where it needs to go. 
And let's just make sure all the buildings are connected. Seems like it's going to be best to do it under underground. Oh, we have a thousand citizens now. New Steam achievement. Great. Thanks, Steam. Steam achievement unlocked. Cool. Let's build up this way. Okay, let's go back above ground. All right, let's see what we're doing now. Can advance. Okay, so how do we make them advance? Looks like they're able to, but now how? Ah, we've unlocked the airport. Fantastic, great. Game is constantly lowering... Loading layers, that's why. Oh, we have a daytime view and a day and nighttime view. Oh, cool, that's nice. We can actually have it in a permanent day or nighttime view if we want to see it differently. That's cool. Can I turn off this layer? That's really annoying. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that. The rich house is looking nice. They actually have some nice backyards, and there's all the slums. These guys are probably millionaires, by the way. But it's the future, so a million dollars doesn't mean much. Okay, how do we advance to level 2? Local metrics available. Uh, looks like they want androids. Do I have to build an android thingy now? Let's see. We haven't done that before, so... Uh, looks like we can't, though. Unlocks at 70 factories, so we need more factories. Oh, looks like the factories are filling up. Oh, they look cool. They look really cool. Yeah, let's build some factories here. And we'll build a road that goes back here. Perfect. There we go. All right. Factories are being built. Look at all the construction, by the way. It's like weird tentacle arms coming out of like a hover, some sort of a hovering thing. So weird how that's constructed. Oh, and it looks like the uh, slums are upgrading. Okay, I think we got it. Oh, wow, yeah. Crazy. Oh, those look cool. Amazing! By growing your city, you'll unlock additional buildings for public augmentation, like free eye augmentation or Wajima or brain augmentation by ner uh, Neutral Link. Neut neutral Link? Uh, let's move on to developing factories. Zone at least 10 factories and we will get them developed. Okay? So let's do some more factories. More. Good idea. We're adding more people, so let's add more, more factories. Oh, wow. The factories here look great. Okay, let's add some more. Crime on the rise in Raptoria? Good. The, the only crime here is the fact that people aren't saying hi to me. I'm, I'm very lonely. Okay, let's build a... What is that? Factory zoning. Oh, looked a little different. Okay. One thing I wish they would do is instead of it being green when you zoned it, it'd be nice if it showed you it uh, in a different color. Uh, let's see. Awesome. As you probably know, factories need water to get built. Uh, to develop factories, they'll need androids. Okay. So that's something we'll need to do next. So select androids now. Okay. But we'll need more uh, factories in order to unlock that. So let's go back to... Well, there we go. Now we got the water, I guess. Connected from before. There we go. I think we should just keep zoning factories. Although I don't think the rich want to live next to it. But it's fine, I guess. Tuck everything in like sardine there. Okay, what's next? We need the public augmentation and the androids. There we go. Okay, so we can build one of these. Now, where do we want to put that? Uh, you'll need to place them properly and keep an eye on the overall level. Uh, let's just build them wherever. Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, what? Okay, it's like tentacles that are like de making deliveries. What? Let's do one over there, too. And one over here. Good. All right, factories need to reach level two. Let's add more factories. Oh, they're already upgrading. Factories already going to level two. I can see it right now. There we go. Get more factories as well. Okay, this is really playing out weird and different, but I like this. Like, it really reminds me of SimCity 3000 a little bit more than anything else. But it definitely looks like 4 as well. Uh, but the way it plays out is really interesting. And look at all the little uh, advertisements on all the buildings. Like something holidays and stuff. That's really cool. Awesome. You made it. This is how you can develop your city. Of course, you can develop uh, wealthy residential areas and offices, but I'll leave that to you. Great. Let's do another tutorial. Yeah, this tutorial is really doing a good job of covering stuff.
Uh, next one is law and order. Good. Good. We need more control. More. Do you want to give law and order in your city? Let me say this. Law and order is a broad and overrated concept. There is no need to keep it. It is your choice to do so. Oh, so we don't necessarily need police departments if we don't want to. We can benefit off of crime. That's interesting. Secondly, there are multiple things that you can... So you can basically either be Judge Dredd, right? Or you can just like be in a, like a no man's land of lawlessness in order to, uh, you know, benefit off of certain crimes. That's so cool. Uh, secondly, there are multiple things that you can keep an eye on or not. Your city may be okay on an issue. Say rogue androids and chaos on another state. Say organized crime. Up to you. Yeah. Awesome. All right. We got to up the population. Oh, never mind. 15. Okay, done. Open the layers. Cool. Uh, click on rest. Okay. Uh, see, the unrest is mainly located near your factories. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you remind them every day with huge screens they can't ignore, they will know. Oh, I got to build big old screens. Okay. Security submenu. Let's open that. On rest submenu. Uh, propaganda screens. Good. Good. Very 1984 now. Uh, let's put the propaganda down. Build three propaganda screens. Let's build it so we can see it too. Over here, I guess. What is it saying? You are valued. Yes, indeed, viewers. Thank you for clicking the like button. You are valued. Thank you for becoming members. You are awesome. We will have a pizza party on Friday rather than increasing wages. The small cost of the corporation will benefit the shareholder and will make you think we care. Yes, good. We would rather pay $3,000 on pizza than give 300 workers a raise of $3,000 to increase the bottom line and to make middle management look better. Awesome. You place them properly. The unrest in your city will decrease. The effect is not immediate as your citizens will need time to absorb the truth. Yes, the truth. Good. Before moving on, let me show you how to deactivate the AR layers. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's easy. Got it. Uh, open the graph panel. Okay. Uh, onrest graph. That is this one. Oh, good. So onrest should start to come down or at least taper off or slow down at least. Uh, if you place your propaganda screens properly, you should start to see onrest going down. Well, it'll take a little time. I guess I have to put them closer to the factories, but I get the point. That, that makes sense. Uh, this is how you deal with unrest. Bigger cities will require more sophisticated propaganda tools that will unlock over time. Let's move on to crime. There's two types of crime, common street crime and organized crime. I'll teach you how to deal with the street crime as organized crime is different. Open the street crime layer. Okay. Oh, it looks like a lot of that's near the uh, apartment buildings. Uh, you see, street crime is mainly common... In poor residential areas, if left unchecked, your city will eventually be famous for crime and the situation may escalate your choice. Uh, let's go ahead and build, open the crime panel. There we are. Ooh, look at this. Camera nest, surveillance drone station, ta robo tanks. Whoa, we can deploy tanks on our citizens? Good. Good. Robo vans, underground, underground jail. What is this, Disney? Oh my god, this isn't a city at all. This is freaking Disneyland. We're building Disney World, the happiest place on Earth, where you are valued. Yes, you. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's select the camera nest. Put that down near the apartment buildings. So we can just place this, like, in the in the slums, right? Oh, I have to build... Wait, can I... Oh, can I build it in the middle of the road? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I see. These roads aren't for surface travel. They're for cars to go over, so we can build camera nests anywhere. Good. So the road is kind of just like a like a like a landing strip that they have to follow. Okay, great. That'll curb street crime a little bit. Criminals will stay in the streets, but they'll be marked as such. It's acceptable, but having them on the streets may bring down bring its own set of situations. Wow. Check out the crime graph. All right, is it going down now? Crime is this one. Oh yeah, it, it tapered right off. Nice. Criminals jailed graph. Uh, none. Lol. Uh, let's see how many criminals were identified and how many of them are actually in jail. So the cameras allow us to identify, but we can't do anything without the underground jail. So let's build that damn thing. wonder if we have to build that underground. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. Dissidents. Okay. Uh, where's the underground jail? There we go. Okay. Get this out of my face. Yeah, build that underground jail. Right there. Beautiful. Oh, go one level down. I'm way ahead of you, champ. There we go. Got to build it again. All right, two of them will be fine. Perfect. Good. Okay, let's go back up top. 
Dude, I'm loving this. This is amazing. Such an amazing little dystopia city builder. This is kind of a game that I've wanted for a while. I haven't even realized it until now. Uh, let's see. Okay, first of all, this needs to stop flashing. Stop. Okay. Uh, great. This is how you deal with street crime and arrest. More things will need your attention in the future. Once your city has androids, some of them will go rogue. That will require bounty hunters. Wow. Another aspect will be dissidents. As your city grows, political opponents will organize into dissident groups. You can leave them be or you can keep them in check with secret service buildings. Wow. That's it for Law and Order mission. Congratulations on completing it. I need you to click or tap. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's the next thing? I want to build an airport and stuff real quick. Do we get to do that? Let's just plop those down and see what they look like and we'll move on to the last thing. This has been awesome so far. And this is just a tutorial, so there's definitely a lot of things that we can do. Uh, let's just build it over here. Oh, it's just a tiny little building. That's it. Hmm. wonder what it does exactly. Airport, move business people in and out of your city. Okay. Uh, and then the other one's on lock. I wonder if there's like a way to do cargo via air. All right, we've done law and order. We did develop your city. And now it's on to city in the sky. Oh, oh. sky is not the limit. Learn how to build your city, your first city in the sky. Oh, man. What? We can build a city on top of the city. Rome was not built in the day and it was... Only on ground level. Yeah, that's true. Oh, dude, now we get to build an aerial city. I knew we could do that before, but I, I was thinking of like a floating city over the city. With this mission, we'll start building the city on top of your city. There's no limit to how high you can go once you've figured out how to do it. you got to be kidding me. Not only do we get a huge map to build in, man, I really want City Skylines to do something like this in the future. It's just, just to go crazy and create a cool... You know, I hate to say it, but one thing that SimCity did better than City Skylines is they did make a really cool futuristic thing where you can make the huge towers and all the floating stuff. It's so it's so fake and re uh, not realistic, but the fact that, like, it would be so cool if City Skylines got gritty and dirty and dystopian without all the mods and stuff. So that way, you know, it could be in the base game and then people could add to it. The, dr the You know, they can't do Judge Dread mod, but that would be so cool to, like, have these mega towers and stuff. It would be amazing. All right, let's jump forward. Uh, select infrastructure. Oh, my mind is buzzing with ideas now. Select vertical. Go up one level, I'm assuming. Yep. And now we got to build an upwards road. Okay, let's build that here. Wow. It's not even a road. It's really just like an elevator. But I guess the cars will fly into it and go vertical and then go straight up and then... There you go. Sky one. Wow. Oh, there's clouds. you got to be kidding me. That's amazing. This was way more detailed than I thought it was going to be, honestly. There's so many options here. Okay, select the road. Oh, now we're building sky roads. Oh, dude. Give me a one down below in the comment section if you'd like to live in Sky City. Cloud City, baby, eat your heart out. Nice. As you can see, the roads on the upper level are powered by the light magic driver, assistant technology. Its lasers will guide your vehicles, city vehicles around without the need to be physical road. Oh, without physical road underneath them. Nice. Select corporate offices. Good. Uh, I'm just so excited. This is so cool. This is so, so cool. Uh, it's not actually possible to build other things on this level without a solid base underneath. Light magic roads are made of lasers, but not your citizens' houses. Uh, in order to build on this level, you'll need to have structures on the level below. So let's go back to the ground level. Oh, okay. So we got to build support underneath. Um, right. Uh, there's two things that you can do to allow the buildings on the upper level. You can develop residential factories or offices to their full potential. Uh, this is very powerful, but takes time. Select vertical infrastructure. Uh, select the tower base. Oh, I see. Oh, oh wow. Oh, this is exactly like... Uh, oh man, that that is like Final Fantasy VII with the towers supporting the upper plates. That is that is amazing. If you've clicked to the middle of this video, go back to the beginning and watch the whole thing. Don't do that. You are you are missing out on this whole city developing. That is crazy. Like this this is in, I promise you, people from the people from the future, go back to the past. There's so this is amazing. This is so cool. Go ba go back and watch how this developed. This is amazing. This is so cool. <laughs> Build corporate offices so now we can put those on top. That's awesome. That means you have to think about when you're building your city below, you got to think about the city above, too. That's 4D chess. Four. No, five. Five D chess. Yes, it's the future. Five. No, 26 D. Double D. I don't know. what Some D. All right, good. These buildings are high up, but they will need water. One way to perform, uh, provide them is water recyclers in the sky, but I do not re recommend it. There's another way. Uh, see some of the tower. 
uh, pipes in the base tower. They'll bring up water, so as long as you're... Oh, okay. So it'll pump water in from the base. Okay. So we just need to make sure these are connected. Oh my goodness, this is so amazing. Can't believe this. Okay, switch to ground level, build sewers again. So they want us to basically connect these to the tower so it can give water to anything sitting on the tower. Okay. Well, let's do uh, sewer to that. Actually, it's already connected, isn't it? But let's just make sure. Don't care, just want to see it go. There we go. Oh, they want me to build another. There we go. Alright, switch back to level one. And they have water. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. I cannot express how cool that is. Now, the other questions would be for me, from me is, dude, that, that was just some of the tutorial of this first thing. We can deactivate missions, but I think they could go over a lot more, like the robo-tanks. I want more advanced tutorials. Can I mine stuff from underneath the surface? I have so many questions. This is actually a game I'd like to build a legitimate city on now. This is, this is amazing. Like, even this tutorial, we made somewhat of a decent city. But we don't need your typical fire department and all that stuff anymore. That's well-maintained. We need to maintain order. We need to maintain control. We can build a NATO office, a WTO office, or Interpol headquarters. Oh, okay, so like, uh, basically like financial institutions or inner, inner world police or whatnot. Oh, wow. Look at all these other buildings. Wiretaps, listening posts, interrogations, black sites, re-education camps. Oh, my God. That is... Oh, uh, yeah. We've got the uh, bounty hunter, weapons, uh, android recall. So, basically, Blade Runner going on. We have a Truth Media Center. Oh, let's go down a level and plop that down. I got to see that. So, all the stuff at the bottom, this is like where all the, you know, the poor people are going to live. You want all the... the basically, <laughs> I love it. It's like, okay, we, we can't get rid of the people we don't like. So we're just going to build a level on top of them and start over. Because we can't necessarily bu bulldoze their houses, right? We need them. They bring us the money. They bring us all the money and they do all the work. But, yeah, easy. Just start over by building on top of them. Fantastic. Wow. Amazing. Convince, c convincing squad. It's literally a, 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 like a bully club or whatever. That's crazy. Giant screen of truth. Wow. Dude, I love it. It's just like, it's so evil. It's hilarious. It's cool. But it's like, it does it in a way that I haven't seen since SimCity Societies. Crazy. Now all this stuff, you know, is like a, a sad face monk S. But it's actually cool that this game had the balls to put it in and to like try to address it what it could be. Maybe. One day. You guys are amazing, so maybe one day you'll go ahead and say hi down below in the comment section and feel welcome to uh, join our Discord with the links down below. I got keys to games to give away in Skid Row. I hope I get some keys from the devs. This would be an awesome game to give away. I actually want to do a full build on this. Maybe a live stream sometime in the future? I don't know. Hope to see you guys next time, though. This was just a tutorial of a game that's got some beef to it. Check it out on Steam today, and I will see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.